The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Housing. This summer, Nova Scotia Acorn received over 100 nominations from tenants for the worst landlord in all of Halifax Regional Municipality. They collected stories from across the city of landlords withholding repairs, failing to deal with pest issues, and harassing tenants. This year, a landlord in my constituency was bestowed the dubious honour of the 2021 Slumlord of the Year. Mr. Speaker, acknowledging that there are many responsible and fair landlords out there, can the minister explain what exactly he is doing to protect people from those landlords who continue collecting rent while inflicting horrendous living conditions on tenants? The Honourable Minister of Housing. I'd like to uh, thank the uh, member for that uh, question, and I can say that the... Uh, um, I have to think about it for a minute, but the... So obviously, the Rental Tenancy Act protects uh, tenants and has aspects for landlords and tenants, and those, uh, those provisions are in the Act, and we expect that uh, on both sides, both parties will follow the Act. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. Uh, Mr. Speaker, renters in Nova Scotia looking for a place to live face a market that has become ruthless. Landlords flooded with applications are known to turn tenants away for simply having children or pets. But now there is another potential hurdle for someone looking for an apartment. Facebook groups where landlords share photos and personal information of tenants on so-called bad tenant lists with hundreds of names. We all know that, and, oh, and I will table an article about that. We all know that legal processes already exist that landlords can use, as the minister has just mentioned, if they are having problems with a tenant. Mr. Speaker, what is this government doing to prevent tenants from being punished by vengeful landlords? The Honourable Minister of Housing. I'd like to thank the minister, a member again for that question. I again would refer to the Rental Tenancy Act, and uh, I would say that I would agree with the uh, member that the issue is supply, both on the market side and the affordable housing side, and that we are working uh, through the Quick Start program uh, right now, and uh, that we hope to have something to say about that soon. We will say something about that soon, and. Uh, those are all of those things, supply issues, are profoundly at the heart of this, and uh, that needs to be increased. So, thank you. 